Hey y'all, this is Cheryl and thanks for joining me for another digital scrapbooking process video. Today I'm going to be using a kit called All Hallows Eve um, along with some journaling cards and that's by Studio Flurks at Sweet Shop Designs but for this month, for the month of September, you'll find this kit in the Digifiles and um, yeah, it's the Digifiles um, for September uh, issue uh, 93. Uh, so what I have started with are three photos. These are um, pulled from my stash of unscrapped photos and I'm not a chronological scrapper so these are from 2005 when my son was a baby and my daughter had this cute little like medieval kind of princess um, costume that she picked out and I liked um, how well the colors work together uh, with this Halloween kit. So you can see that I've started building my layout. I do not have my background um, papers placed. I'm just um, you know, building up a, a composition and of course this one is centrally uh, composed so it's um, kind of, it will actually be more towards the top of the layout um, I think by the time I finish um, but it, it's mostly in the center of the page and uh, I liked having the you know kind of block look to the photos and then I was able to you know go a little uh, more free form with the uh, elements and of course um, Studio Flarks her uh, kits are just amazing anyway and uh, I always love uh, when I can get uh, one of the kits and be able to create. So uh, here I'm just I've added some uh, foliage and I've tucked some photo uh, photos flowers um, above and below the foliage so and that even just with the you know drop shadows without doing any custom shadows just from my drop shadow set having those uh, layers like that having one tucked under and one over and then how I'm doing the lollipop over it all adds to the dimension of the um, layout so now I'm just adding um, these little they look like enamel dots, enamel dots to me, but I do believe they are um, a uh, like a candy, little candy piece. But they're super cute, so I liked adding that little scatter in. And my favorite too was that title, the Halloween. It is perfect happy glittery goodness I love the ombre effect that's on it and of course that will be my title so now I'm starting to get into adding um, some papers and um, on this particular layout there was kind of a, a reflection from the mirror that's um, in that main photo and um, that's where I placed that round trick or treat um, element and I think in the last this one included and then the previous two videos that you'll find on my channel I have chosen to cover up something that was distracting in a photo rather than edit the photo I'm not sure what that says about me maybe that I would rather scrap than edit photos but anyway the memories on the page most of that mirror flash is covered and uh, yeah I was able to rather than spending time on editing that I was able to just scrap the photos and still keep the focus on you know on those faces my, my happy Pete faces uh, so now I've gotten the uh, background paper chosen uh, have a solid paper which was that one will stay behind there and I've added a stripe and I, you can see I'm starting to do a little tilting here making that a little bit smaller And 
Yep, and I am now um, using my rectangular marquee tool, tool to cut that background paper. And there will just be a little bit of black at the top and a little wider strip on the bottom. And yeah, what you see me doing here is adding a layer mask to that star scatter. And rather than erasing, because I'm not sure if I want the way that looks, you know, I may want to bring it back in. So I just choose to mask those out and um, just keep the ones that I want to. So you can see me using the brush tool. Just moving some final things around. And here's my completed layout with journaling and custom shadows. I really thank you for joining me. And I hope this inspired you to create something. It's almost Halloween. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.